Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRob447 back at it again with some NCAA Football 14 gameplay. And we're going up against the Bowling Green Falcons, Matt Johnson. He is a great quarterback. If you guys watched him in real life, he was really, he was getting a lot of touchdowns. So we're going to have to contain them. They have the 43rd best pass offense in the nation. Meanwhile, their rush offense is 10 times better than ours. Uh, I believe their running back's name is Travis Green, and he's really good. He's undersized, but he's still pretty damn good. So, a Ziggy Zumba. We're going to look to get that win today. I believe Bowling Green, they play in Ohio as well. So there you go, another Mac team in Ohio. But let's send it to midfield for the coin toss. And we pick head. No, Bowling Green pick heads. And it was tails, so we pick to receive. Come on, we want the ball. So Devin Campbell is back there to return. You guys know how deadly Devin Campbell has been. So Anthony Taylor, he's going to go up there with the squad. And Devin Campbell has some space on the sideline. Tries to juke one defender but gets tackled at the 25-yard line. So we send Matt Weiser in motion. Hand it off to Anthony Taylor who only picks up about one yard. And that's not going to get the job done right there. So second down and nine. Joe Licata dropping back. He's going to hit Anthony Taylor for the halfback screen. And he, only, he picks up eight. He almost... Almost, almost gets the first down, but Anthony Taylor gets the first down this time around. So that would make it first and ten from the uh, 38 yard line. So hand it off to Anthony Taylor once more, and he gets the first and a little more. So that's a 13 yard rush for Anthony uh, Taylor. So he's making up for that first for that first uh, rush. And ooh, that was a really good fake. A good play action by Joe Licata, and that set us up for a 12-yard reception. So, you guys see we hand it off to Jordan Johnson. Jordan Johnson picks up the first down. We'll make it first down and 10 on the 20, so we're in the red zone. Handing it off to Anthony Taylor. We're running all over the Falcons. They can't do anything about us. So, we're going to go and do a little pitch. Joe Licata's not much of a runner, but hey, why not? So, that pitch didn't help us at all. So, it's fourth and three. I'm going for it, baby. I got to roll the dice. And Anthony Taylor. <gasps> Excuse me. I mean, Joe Licata threw it to Jacob Martinez. And Jacob Martinez would have scored if he caught that. Look at that. It was right in his hands. Look. Oh, my God. That would have been a touchdown, but instead we turn the ball over. So Matt Johnson will control it, and he completes his first pass for a first down to Roger Lewis. So Matt Johnson dropping back once again finds Gallon, Chris Gallon for the two-yard reception. So it'll make a second and eight. Matt Johnson dropping back once more. It's going to throw to Fokastomsma. I don't know how to say his name, Fokastomsma. If you're a Bowling Green fan, you know how to say his name. I don't. And Nick Gilbo. With the blitz, gets Matt Johnson in the backfield. So they turn the ball over. Uh, well, they had to punt it away. So Anthony Taylor is going to take the ball for a six-yard rush. So we're, that counter is working right now. So we're going to have to keep going to it. Joe Licata dropping back. Finds Marcus McGill. Marcus McGill picks up 23 yards on that reception right there. Puts us at the 50-yard line. First down and 10. We're in shotgun. Joe Licata dropping back. Surveying his options. Going to find Marcus McGill once again. But this time in the middle of the field for another first down. So second and 20. We did have a penalty. Joe Licata dropping back. Going to find Marcus McGill once again. So it's been the Marcus McGill show this drive. Already three receptions. So we're going to hand it off to Anthony Taylor. Who gets the first down. A block on the outside. A cut to the inside. Gets us inside the 10. Which will make it first in goal from the 8 yard line. Joe Licata. We go 5 wide. He's dropping back. He finds Anthony Taylor for the receiving touchdown. Hmm. Okay, so we're up 7-0. Matt Johnson completes it to Lewis and Lewis. He fumbles the ball and Lee Skinner picks it up. So we'll take over on the 32-yard line. But wait, but wait, guys. Bowling Green, they challenged. And if you guys see, his elbow was definitely down. Or his knee was definitely down before the ball was out. You can't see from that vantage point. I don't know why you're seeing. And honestly, if you look at that, his elbow wasn't down. But I almost promise you they were talking about the knee. Matt Johnson's trying to run. I don't know why. Matt Johnson can't run. 
So he dropped back to pass third and seven. They're running a little screen. Lee Skinner is back there to get Travis Green. So it's a fourth and eight. It's going to be a really long field goal for them. But they knock it through the uprights to make it a 7-3 ball game with 3.02 left in the second quarter. So Joe Lucata dropping back to pass. Fine, Jacob Martinez. So Jacob Martinez making up for his uh, blunder because that could have been a touchdown. But he dropped it. So once again, Joe Lucata finds Jacob Martinez for the first down. So 2 minutes 32 left in the second quarter. We go shotgun once again, but this time we're handing it off to Anthony Taylor. Anthony Taylor breaks a tackle, but only picks up eight. He did not get out of bounds, so that cock clock will keep running. But we got three timeouts, baby. So hey, we're not, we're not, you know, uh, fronting. And that's Ron Willoughby catching a 10-yard reception to get us the first. So second and five, handing it off to Jordan Johnson. And Jordan Johnson goes out of bounds to get us a 10-yard rush. So, first down and 10 from the 15, completed to Marcus McGill, who almost gets the first. So, on second and inches, we're going to keep letting that clock run. We don't want uh, the Falcons to get the ball back, and we do score with Marcus McGill, his first touchdown catch of the day. So, it is 14-3, no time left, and that is going to be a sack on Matt Johnson, and uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is bad. Matt Johnson went down after that hit. So who knows how good he will be after that. But all I know is we're going into halftime leading 14-3. We've been on a winning streak so far. So we got to keep this up, baby. We got to keep this up. Last time we lost was to Western Michigan. And that game was crazy, as y'all know. So you guys see we're leading when it comes to time of possession, uh, rush yards, and pass yards. But when it comes to turnover ratio, we're losing because technically we already had a turnover uh, the, when the fourth down. That, I, I think that counts as a turnover, so we already had that. So we're losing that battle. So, you know, our defense isn't that good, so you really shouldn't expect us to win turnover battles. But hopefully in the years coming, I could develop this defense into something a lot more because we we suck i mean yeah our rushing defense is pretty good but whenever i play with a team my rushing defense is always good i guess it's the game not mean or not it's the it's the game not the teams so as for secondary i've had problems with some teams and problems with uh and not problems with other teams so this team definitely has a problem when it comes to the secondary and we need to fix that so, first down and 10, handed it off to Anthony Taylor. He dives to get some extra yards. Yo, that's pretty smart, okay? So, we're going to complete a pass to Matt Weiser for a big gain. Matt Weiser has been getting big gains like that all year. And we're going to push him to the left so he can block for Anthony. And Anthony only picks up five yards. That will make it second and five. So, third and five. Joe Licata dropping back. He's going to check down to Marcus McGill, who breaks the tackle and gets all the way up to the 13-yard line. So third and seven for your Buffalo Bulls. Completed pass to Matt Weiser, who gets the first down, which will make it first and goal inside the five. So we're going with that counter once more, and Anthony Taylor gets into the end zone for the second time this ball game. But this time, it's a rushing touchdown instead of a receiving touchdown. So Napke is in the game for uh, Matt Johnson. But oh my God, Chris Gallon breaking tackles. Chris Gallon is still going. Boise Ross, he breaks another one. But luckily, luckily our guy... Uh, Kareel Threats was there to bring him down. Good God, Chris Gallon, what, he broke like five tackles that time. And look at it, Chris Gallon, he scores a touchdown. That, now that was crazy. Chris Gallon, that was scary what he just did. That was really scary. So you guys see Matt Weiser lays out, lays out for that reception right there. That's what we need to see out of Mr. Matt Weiser. Anthony Taylor gets an 8-yard rush, which will make it 3rd and 2. So we're leading by 9. Joe Licata dropping back. He's going to find Robinson. I believe in the Malcolm Robinson. He doesn't get a lot of playing time. But, hey, he got to catch this game. So it's something to be a little happy about. And Anthony Taylor just following his blockers gets inside the 5 with that rush right there. So we're going to hand it off to Jordan Johnson. And Jordan Johnson gets the touchdown, which will put us up 27-12. And with the PAT, it will make it 28-12. to So we get the ball back. 
second and seven. One more score will put the nail in the coffin here in Buffalo. And two. Oh, my God. Jordan Johnson making moves. A 27-yard rush for Jordan Johnson. We hand it off to him once more. And he's got daylight. And he's going to score. That will make this game out of reach for the Falcons. We're going to cruise to victory, guys. Honestly, Matt, John uh, Matt Johnson, he got injured, so Napke's in the game. Napke's going to throw that one up, and Boise Ross is going to get an interception. That that will definitely seal the deal here in Buffalo. We pick up another win, and this game was vital because Bowling Green was a team in our division that if we didn't beat them, we wouldn't be going to the MAC championship. So if I am correct, this game... Puts us into first place uh, uh, throughout, and we, if we win out, we can go to the MAC championship. Or I think we're already in it. So you guys see, uh, Joe Licata had a good day. You know he's been he's been doing great the past few weeks. The whole team's been doing the great past few weeks. You know, at the beginning of the season we were going through adversity. We weren't playing the best, but now we're really we're really coming together. We're coming together like I wanted to. Jacob Martinez could have had that touchdown. But anyway, it's been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.